So for today, we're going to be looking at the Fortnite armor. We finally got all the pieces. Thank God. Um, I, I'm really excited because the helmets were probably one of my more favorite pieces from the whole set, aside from maybe the Hunter. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're going to be looking at the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. Obviously, that's how I usually do it. And we're going to look at how it looks, how it shaders. We're not going to do example sets because I did do example sets um, in two different videos, I think. Uh, I could do some more, but for now we're just going to look at the armor itself if you guys want more let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to cover anything else let me know in the comments below again just talk to me and i'll i'll get started on it so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub really does help motivates me to make more content and it just it really helps because it just helps the algorithm and and analytics i don't know what to tell you so other than that let's get into it so the hunter is probably the most edgiest fuck from the whole sets like let's be real it looks cool don't get me wrong i think it, each piece has its like strength and weaknesses but i think more strength than weakness to be fair uh let's start from the head down the helmet i think is really cool i think it's not the weakest set i think it's gonna be really cool with certain armor pieces and certain cloaks as well just because it the visor looks really cool i love the fact that we have that visor the like very thin eye isolate i think that's super cool the fact that actually without even the cloak itself it still looks really cool so you can put this with like an, a cloak that's down that's really cool there's a lot of things you can do with this helmet for the arms i will say i think the arms are the weakest part just because there is just they're very specific and they're very bulky uh, specifically for the male i don't know how the female looks i assume it's not as bulky as the male but i think the forearms is just way too big i think the like pointy pit pointy bits at the on the shoulder pieces are actually pretty cool it's just you're gonna have to combine it with pointy pieces because other than if you don't it's just gonna look weird uh chest piece i think is super cool it's kind of unfortunate but also not for or unfortunate that the spikes on the chest piece, specifically like the collarbone, those spikes are actually connected to, to the cloak itself. So that's not part of the chest piece. I say unfortunately or fortunate because depending on how, how you view it, you might actually just prefer the chest piece without the pointy bits, which is why I say fortunately, but then unfortunately, because if you like the pointy bits, then you're gonna have to wear the cloak with it. For the boots, I think the boots are cool. I think I would have liked a little bit more glow like maybe in in front of the thighs. I think it could have had a little bit more glowy bits there because I think it lacks more glowy bits. That's all that's all I really have to say about the, the boots because the boots are fine. Like they're not they're not anything crazy. They're very like they're normal. Like they're cool. For the cloak, uh I I really like the cloak. Let me just start by saying that. I think the cloak is really cool. Uh the only thing that kind of sucks is the spikes i think the spikes on the top of the cloak is fine i think that's cool i think the the spikes on the collarbone i think are cool as well but it's gonna be annoying combining it with certain pieces uh that being said i think i can already tell you that like there's like three three chess pieces that i can think of off the top of my head that i want to combine this with so it's not gonna be super duper hard it's just i think a lot of these pieces are very distinct very like exact and obviously that's how it should be it's an armor set but what i mean by that is you're gonna have to combine these pieces with other pieces with a very discerned eye because if you just go half-assed it's gonna look nasty so let me know what you guys think in the comments below hunters i think honestly i think this one's fine like i think the whole armor set as a whole looks super super cool uh, i would never wear it just because i'm not like that although when the iron banner armor comes out i am gonna wear the whole thing because i love that set but uh if you were just to ask me like what's the strongest pieces from this whole set i would tell you the helmet's really strong the chest piece is pretty strong uh the arms and the boots are like mid like they're not i shouldn't say mid they're they're like good but they're not better than the chest piece or the helmet so i guess mid would be the best explanation for that and i think the close is also mid like i think those three pieces are still usable and you're still gonna find some cool looking armor sets. It's just that I think the chest piece and the helmet are just 
by far the easiest pieces you can mix and match with. As for how it shaders, it shaders pretty fine. Like there's nothing that I see that I'm getting mad at. Like a lot of the colors, I'm just like, yeah, I expect these colors. There's not a lot of off colors that I'm looking at aside from the, the cloak. The horns at the top ha take the off color, but that makes sense because the helmet also takes the off color and it's supposed to mimic like the helmet and the like horns and whatnot. So it makes sense. It makes sense why that's the off color. Just be aware when you're combining this with another helmet, the off color of the horns. Just be aware of that. Other than that, uh, the glows are fine. The glows are pretty cool. Uh, again, the only annoyance I would say is the fact that the boots really needed a little bit more glow, especially on the front of the armor, because it just looks kind of barren. Unfortunately, I like I like the I like the glow on the back of the heels, but I think the front should have should have used more glows. So other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for the Titans, I think a lot of these pieces are amazing. Let's go with the helmet. The helmet, I think, is amazing. Like, legitimately super, super cool. I cannot wait until I start combining this with certain pieces. Uh, specifically, the Heart of Inmost light build that I made in this video. I think I'm going to switch the helmet out for this one just because it looks a lot better, personally. The arms, also really cool. You can combine this with smaller pe chest pieces uh, to make, like, really cool, like, lean knights. That's really cool. The chest piece, I will say, is the weakest portion because of the splash of red. Unfortunately, I just don't think it's really good. And also, unfortunately, Dreaming Spectrum and Argentera Torn do not actually take the color out. You'll still see a, a hint of it, unfortunately, because I actually like the chest piece. I think the chest piece had a lot of potential. It's just that the splash of red really ruined it for me. Uh, the boots, I love the boots. I think the boots are super cool. Uh, a little hard to combine with knightly look because it doesn't look like a knight personally. It looks more like a uh, techno armor type thing, which kind of makes sense. It's from Fortnite, but I would have liked it if it if it held a little bit more like knightly look uh, for the mark. I think it looks really cool. I, li I like that. It's very simplistic. Uh, it's just a dick cloth with armor on the hips. I think that's fine. Like we don't need anything crazy. And honestly, I'm kind of excited because we don't have a lot of pieces that have armor on the hips. So I am excited to use some of that. As for how it shaders, again, like the only unfortunate part is the fact that you're going to actually see that the red splash is just taking colors. And sometimes like specifically for Echo Danger, it has like an off color to the off color. So like, for example, the blue steel is an off color for armor. But then you see the like the painted version. It's like a gross like almost matte version of the off color which is a super big bummer because i would have just liked if it didn't have that uh yeah as you guys can see from abyssinian gold like the whole plate is black and then the like paint thing is gray i think it's just terrible like it mm, it's very unfortunate because i think the chess piece had a lot of potential I mean, granted, a lot of people are still going to use it, but I personally won't because just the asymmetry of it is going to bug me. But don't don't let that fool you. The helmet, easy S plus. It's such a good helmet. You're going to really enjoy this helmet. The arms are also really good. The boots really good for other other looks, specifically like a techno look or not even techno. Just like you can use this for like armor, like like a like a like a military piece. And then for the mark, I think that one would be really good for for a night look. Or if you just want to bulk bulk your Titan out, the hip armor is going to look really good. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with probably one of the dopest sets I've seen so in so long for the Warlocks. Honestly, Warlocks, I'm not even like this is not even a stretch. Y'all won this season specifically for Eververse because the, every piece is usable every piece except like maybe the bond which is pretty funny that i bring that up because i actually did not pick up the bond so you guys will not see the bond we'll still look at it uh, after we're done looking at this armor but just be aware that i actually did skip it because i usually skip bonds unless it looks really really cool because we'll go through why i skip them when we go look at this uh, when we look go look ugh, when we go look at the bond so for the helmet, I think the helmet looks amazing. Like, let's be real, guys. That helmet is the reason that most people bought this bitch. It's so good. 
the arms I think are an easy S plus uh, piece because of the electric like uh, currents going around the arm. The glow also changes color on the arm, specifically the hand. You guys can see a glow, but also the currents change color as well, which is a big plus. The chest piece, bro. There are so many things you can do with this chest piece. Uh, I have I have a current look for this, which I will have in this week. Uh, this week probably I'll put it post it, but I made a such a cool set with this chest piece and i'm already excited to start digging into it more because this chest piece is legitimately one of the most beautiful sets we have in the game for warlocks the boots i already made a set for it in this video i love this set it's one of my favorite sets it's like a very casual well i call it my ca casual nezarek which is super super cool definitely one of my favorite sets that i've made in a long time because it just looks so clean and again we're skipping the bond because i don't have it speaking uh, before we actually look at the bond, let's actually look how it sh how it shaders. And again, this is like what you want to see in an in a, in an armor set. A lot of pieces are looking good, man. The painted Kitsune helmet does take the off color, but it still looks really good. I love how it takes the blue steel of the Echo Ranger. I think it looks really really cool, uh, specifically for Abyssinian gold. I really like the red like lightning it looks super super cool i usually don't show this shader but for gambit jade stone it looks amazing as well like the sheer amount of glow in this armor set is immaculate it's amazing whoever designed this one specifically needs a raise because they did everything right there was there's enough glow to go around like almost I, to be to be honest every piece of this armor set has a glow the boots have a glow it doesn't care i don't care if it's small it, there's still a glow the chest piece has a glow the helmet has a glow the arms have a glow the even the bond has a glow so really cool set i really congratulate whoever designed this because this is amazing congratulations let's actually go look at the uh at the bond real quick so you guys can see this is in game and the reason I re like I rarely pick up pieces for uh, specifically the bond for the warlocks is because most of the time they're boring. So for for me, I think this looks OK, but I was just like, I don't want to kill twelve hundred bright dust for this. It's not like it's not good. Like, I don't I didn't see it. And I, was, I wasn't like, oh, my God, that's so cool. I was just kind of like, eh, it's a bond. Never really like eh this 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 uh probably changes color which is cool but like do i really want to kill 1200 for this if i really want it in the future i don't mind paying three bucks uh but yeah that's it so let's actually see looks <laughs> you guys can see like three dollars on a lot of these is because i'm missing a few people what am i missing from this oh the boots that's right uh i didn't skip this because they look boring i skipped this i didn't even skip it i forgot to to pick it up uh because i'm dumb so i'm definitely gonna pick that up but specifically like for this one i skipped it because i was like i don't want two dicks on my one of my arms like this looks terrible to me uh same thing for this one i think the bond was just very boring and i was like why would i why would i get this when it looks boring uh same thing for this one i was just kind of like to be fair this one does look a lot cooler but not cool enough for me to be like oh i'm gonna kill 1200 brightness for that uh so yeah like this one as well oh this is the arm i didn't get the arm for this really well to be fair this shit is still boring and i would not have picked this up but this was from warmind so this makes sense so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below again uh i do apologize that i did skip out on the bond but again a lot of the bonds most of the time are boring as fuck, so that's why I skipped out on it. But let me know what you guys think. Have you guys picked it up? What are you what are you guys gonna be doing for the sets? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited to see some of the stuff people are gonna do because not saying I'm, I wasn't excited already, but a huge portion of people are didn't actually have all of the armor set. Now that a lot of people do, I'm excited to see what people are gonna be doing with it. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.